Fridays with Danny and Shani. I'm Shani. And I'm Danny. And let's, let's have, have some, some fun! fun. We, I don't think we've done a video in a long time. We have not done a video in a long time. Like, months. Hmm, probably... Have we done one this year? I don't even know. I don't think so. I don't think we've done one have this we? year. Wow. I don't know. Are you trying to be gentle so you don't spill it but still show your face on camera? No, I was doing it in the camera, which is backwards, so that was really hard to do. I know, it's hard, huh? This episode should be brought to you by Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper, give us free stuff. Ugh. You're welcome. So today, I thought it'd be really fun for us to paint pumpkins. Now these are carvable. These are like the, the styrofoam that's covered in, what can you is carve this? These? Yeah. I think it's just foam. No, you can carve them. Okay. They're literally called carving pumpkins. What? At least that one for sure. Yeah, this one's hollow too. But because we're both artists, we're gonna paint instead. We're really good at carving. Well, he's really good at carving, I am not. <laughs> so, but we decided we wanted to paint the scariest thing that we could think of on each pumpkin. And you guys will vote below and tell, tell us which one you like better. But for me, the scariest thing I can think of is my eating disorder, and so that's what I'm gonna paint. And Danny, it's gonna be a surprise, right? He's not gonna, we're not gonna know what Danny paints until the very end, so. Surprise. Yeah, and so, and Danny just got home from a trip to Tahiti, and that's why he is very tan, and his hair has grown, and I just, I just think he looks adorable. Shannon did that. Am I the only one that thinks, this is so sexy, are you kidding? I mean, if he, that's what does it for you, I don't care, rock on. I don't know what it is. I just love it. Anyway, so we're just gonna chow while we paint our pumpkin. to switch pumpkins because <laughs> I need the bigger one so okay so now we have Instagram with us we're live on Instagram and I'm asking them to ask us some questions because this is really awkward silence while we paint ID Nationals 2018 said how was your trip Danny uh, my trip was amazing I was able to get onto a film shoot to film two movies in a back-to-back -back down in Tahiti it was a tropical paradise wrapped in a dream, and I got paid to do it, which was awesome. The only bad part was is that we were away from, I was away from Shani for almost a month, four weeks. Oh, you loved it, don't lie. Oh, I loved it, but I still <laughs> was, the, that was the worst part. So, because everything else was awesome. We were able, because we were such a small crew, so the crew had to do a lot of like the background stuff. And did I tell you I'm in this one? Yeah, but tell them. So, uh, not only would I play a lot of background things, so we got to ride four-wheelers through the jungle, we got to ride horses through the jungle, we got to ride um, uh, uh, jet skis in the ocean and on the boats and swim with the sharks and the, and the stingrays and feed them and pet them and whatever. And then we were able to... These are uh, annoying, I'm taking them off. Okay. And then we were able to uh, just be background and all the other things. And then they needed a guy just to, uh, like a, we call it a featured extra where you have lines and stuff. And they're like, hey Danny, we need this guy to hit on this girl at the bar. The main lead. I'm like, okay, I guess I can do that. So the... You got to hit on the main lady? Yeah. Yep. Lucky you. Anyway, it was amazing. Did you do anything special for reunion day? That's from Dee Dee. I came home in one piece. And then we... Shut off the camera. Shut off the camera. For obvious reasons, because I couldn't keep Miss You Know Who off of me. Stop, I'm not gonna put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Any Halloween plans? Well, we weren't, except for our costumes. And then I went up to my brother-in-law's to, he had a... Uh, you're still doing the costume with me. Oh, no, 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 I'm doing the costume. But what I mean is, um, so Sean, our brother-in-law, 
uh, he called me this afternoon. He's like, hey, I need a favor real quick. I'm like, okay, what's up? And he had this big, huge, uh, like, online call with his with his whole team. So, like, 65 people were going to be on the Zoom call. Mm-hmm. Um, and everyone was, you could dress up and everything like that. He's like, I want to do something different because I was just going to dress up in the Iron Man suit that I made him. He's like, I want to do something different. Can you bring up the Mark I? And I'm going to set up the Mark I behind me and the, and the Mark 42, which is the one he has. And I'm going to dress up as Tony Stark and just sit there in my chair with my two suits behind me. I'm like, oh, yeah, it'll be fine. I can do that. So I went up there and, and he shaved his beard so it looks like Tony Stark. I'm like, oh, you don't know what else you should do? Go get a glass, a uh, glass like canter and then go get some apple juice and just be there Tony Stark drinking style. That's so we did that for like a prop. That's cool. Oh, anyway, so for Halloween, sorry, let's finish oh, Halloween. Um, yes, so for sorry. Halloween, uh, I went up there and I, I dropped the suit off and then Angela got all excited and she's like, hey, what do you think about doing some little decorations? I'm like, oh man, I would only have a day to build stuff because we're going to do this big pirate ships thing, but we're going to do that next year. Mm-hmm. And she's like, well, what if we just do like, since she's got some like witches and stuff, you were up there for all that. Mm-hmm. And that big ghoulie thing. Like, what if we just do like witch and graveyard stuff? I'm like, okay, I have some, I have some, uh, some uh, headstones and stuff that I can do, that I have, and I can make some more real quick. So, we're gonna do like a witchy graveyard headstone thing with the stuff that we have. So, me and Paul will take some time tomorrow and go pre decorate and then decorate on Halloween too. So, that's my plans. Yeah. Yeah. So for years, our tradition has been actually since I was a little girl, as long as I can remember, actually, it's been a tradition for my mom to make her homemade chili. And back when my grandma was alive, wow, you can't even see my eyes at these. Hold on. Excuse me. Back when my grandma was alive, she would make homemade donuts to go with the chili. Then she died, and then my parents got divorced, and my mom remarried, and we just started buying Krispy Kreme donuts. So every year we have a ginormous, like the biggest pot of chili that you can, like that round and that, like that, it's ginormous, and we should invite people over, and it's just so much fun. But my mom and stepdad just moved a couple years ago to where they're probably going to retire, which is my grandma's old house, and it's kind of out in the middle of, it's not in the middle of nowhere, but there's just not a lot of people and they're not gonna get trick-or-treaters or anything. So Angela, my oldest sister, who is Sean's wife, started taking over the job and now, and so now she is doing um, Halloween. So she's making the chili and she's providing the donuts and everything, she's really wonderful. So it's gonna be super fun. But back in the day, my brother and Danny would just like unbelievably spookify. Spookify. I don't know a word. Just we made it like crazy, like so yeah, good. We just make like spook alleys and animatronics and whatever we could fit into our schedules. Mm-hmm. It was really fun. But I have taken up the mantle of doing it myself, basically, because Mike's out of or out of uh, state, mm-hmm. and Paul has been able to help this last couple of years. Check in the description below for below for last year's thing, and go look at uh, Paul's vlog for more info on that too. And Mousy's here. Mouse, do you have a question? Mousy is my best friend. How are you doing mentally and physically? Okay, I guess it's been a while since I've updated YouTube on this. Danny, how is your eating disorder on your trip? Uh, very good. As much and as healthy as I could. Did they have Dr. Pepper up there? Sure did. Last time you went on vacation to Fiji. Not or vacation. Work, sorry. It is vacation. It's not. Last time he... It's not. They worked really hard. Work. Last time he went, um... They didn't have Dr. Pepper. They don't have Dr. Pepper Fiji. on Fiji. So Come on, Fiji. Get it, get it together. Literally right the minute after he booked this job, he Googled if they have Dr. Pepper. No, 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 no. In it's Bora Bora. In, it actually is even better because it's not Bora Bora, it's Tahiti. Or Tahiti. But it's even better. The director who went out there to scout found Dr. Pepper, took a picture, and then sent it to me. Dan, they have Dr. Pepper out here. That said, favorite bromance moment with Paul and Tahiti. You know, actually with Paul, I wasn't really around him too much. But me and Easy kind of got it on a couple times. I'm gonna insert that picture of you guys in bed. Oh, Judas, I forgot about that. Enjoy.
Because the pasta seats were too expensive over there. Yeah. Otherwise, we would have done that. And they're all French. Wait, do they speak French there? Oh yeah. Tahitian and French. Really? Mm hmm Lots of French. Hmm. Yep. Guess what word I learned? Bonjour! You didn't know that before? I mean, I knew it from like the song, but that's about it. You never knew that word? I Besides didn't. Beauty and the Beast, is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Bonjour. Bonjour. Mousy said, and why is the carpet all wet, Todd? I don't know, Margo. Why is the carpet all wet? You don't know that? No, I don't know. You don't know what that's from? It's from um Christmas vacation. Oh. I haven't watched it. When the that thing flies through the her. window and it breaks their radio oh, and there's that's like right. water that's in right. it. That's right. <laughs> and why is the carpet all wet, Todd? I don't know, Margo. And why is the carpet all wet, Todd? Right. I don't know, Margo. Mouse and I used to do that all the time, so I'm gonna grab a drink. Okay. We're talking about Melanie asks if how how do I deal with your obsessive uh, decorating? <laughs> it's so bad. Everyone hates it but me. But listen, Who hates, I don't hate it. Everyone Who hates does. It? They're like Shani, calm down with oh, the decorations. Geez. You guys, <laughs> it's fun. This is what the house is I for. actually don't care. I don't take offense. I'm just like, that's just how I am. Yeah. If you look at the rest of my house, there's, I'm not, you know, the typical stylish, like lots of whites and grays and color. I like color. color. Ever. Like there, I just like a lot of color, everything, everywhere I go, everything I do. And it's good because I like a lot of color, so. Yeah. Cat loves my decorating. Thanks, Cat. No more questions, guys. Let's see what you got. That's so did you bring cute. your ukulele with you to your trip? If not, did you misplace it? So I, I was gonna bring one. I had one prepped to bring, and I'm like, no, nah, I just don't want to risk it because I don't know what it's like out there. And then I did some research, and they have uh, Tahitian ukuleles. And so I did some research, and they're really thin body, like full, almost full wood, uh, handcrafted things. And I bought one out there. Secret couples uh, costume that we're going to do this year. Best costume in, that I've wanted to do since I was a little girl. Like Which I've wanted to I do didn't know. my whole entire. I've told. I've asked you so many times to do it. You have not. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. But here's the thing. Usually Danny wears stuff he makes, but the last couple of years we've done couples costumes because he's been gone like yeah. all and the way up busy, to all the way up to Halloween. So right I before been Halloween. Able to make anything new. So. Um, whenever he's gone, I get to do a couple's get, yeah. costume. And so. I was gone the whole month, so I've said, Shani, you get to pick the yeah. costumes this year. And last night, we or last year, we did um, Mario and Luigi. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween, guys! Okay. Uh, so Mel asks, uh, I'm not sure if you asked this, uh, what was your favorite thing you did or something you wanted to do? I assume on the trip, Mel, um, uh, the whole thing was awesome. Again, we were able to do... Here's my favorite thing, just to sum it up. My favorite thing was I got to do my job, which I'm being paid to do, which is awesome, in places like Tahiti and Fiji and all over the place. That's my favorite thing. It's, it's not just a, a vacation. He's I get, very I get, grateful. I get, he's oh my gosh, I'm so, so grateful. It was, I, I, thank, I thank Brian like every day. Because in Tahiti, guys, if you never go or if you, if you ever get the chance to go, please do. There is a saying down there that there's there's no way you can take a bad picture, and that is so true. Because true. every time I got, I walked out the door, mm -hmm. it was amazing. Every I, I, every, every, every single time I looked at the ocean, it was amazing. Every single time I looked at the mountain range, 
was amazing. It's just everything I could just, I could keep opening the door and see the same thing and be like, oh my gosh, how could I not see that over and over and over? So we got to ride four wheelers through the jungle and horses through the jungle and uh, kayak and and uh, uh, snorkel and um, uh, uh, be in the boats and, and swim with the sharks. Anyway, um, so yeah, it was super freaking amazing out there. Okay, Tequila said, if you could pick a day that you could pick to repeat like Groundhog Day, which or what day would you pick and why? The That's day I came question. home to Shannon. Aww, you're lying. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> I would say our wedding day, but like we almost died and stuff, so. I would say the day after Actually, our cool wedding day. Actually, that's cool because we survived. We survived. Yeah, the day, the day after, after like, was a good day. Because we could literally think like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, we're married now. There's not a hundred people asking us questions. And we were or... staying in like the most luxurious yeah. hotel well, that you can even yeah. afford. It was amazing. My stepdad spoiled the crap out of us. So, it was really fun. Yeah. I just walked around lingerie our whole honeymoon, basically. Pretty much. And we had like three full-size bathrooms and a full-size kitchen and unlimited food service of like a res like so much creme brulee. <laughs> you ordered one so or much two creme brulee. Day, like, it's so good. Ton. Mm -hmm. And like in the middle of the night too, remember like, because they said, hey, it's 24-7 oh, room yeah. service. So oh, I called in the middle of the night. Guess what? Middle of the night, creme brulee, here we go. Sure did. My stepdad really spoiled us. He's really sweet. Yeah. Will you recreate your throwback pic from six days ago? What are you talking about? Or the throwback pic? Oh, 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 from for your big booby thing. Oh yeah, I never even explained what it was. You just put through <laughs> that picture up, <laughs> and no explanation. This is. And like, by the way, I okay. got messages. I got like at least ten messages of people being like, "Are you okay?" <laughs> like you usually put a caption. To your photo, like, I don't understand. Okay, I guess I'll explain it finally, because um, you guys have been asking, but it's a picture of me with literal cantaloupes in my shirt when I was, I think, 16 or 17-ish. And we just thought it was the funniest thing to take a picture and have me pose provocatively. So will I recreate it? Sure! Look for it on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram at educating underscore shanny. See what I did there? That was pretty plugs. Cool. No, that was that? Yeah, shameless plugs. That's what it's for. I would drop this, but it has paint in it. Okay, so Danny's gonna show. And what did you paint? Because you didn't tell them. That's what is true. this? What is this? Who is this? This is pumpkin version of what I see oh. Shanny's uh, eating disorder. Oh, you painted my eating disorder too? Mm -hmm. Let's see you, it. You, so there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and with the, it's just, it's just the black monster in her head, with the, all the teeth and the black hole and and the red eyes, and it's trying to be pretty. With the, you can kind of see it do a little makeup. Yeah, oh, it's trying nice. to be pretty, but it ain't. You know, mm -hmm. it's just doing what it's thing, and it's just not away at her brain. Cute. That's pretty accurate. Thanks. That's very accurate. So we all know I painted my eating disorder, but I also just want to do the scariest thing I can think of, right? So, this is a little graphic, but you can't even tell what it is. You can totally tell what it is. So this is a toilet bowl full of puke. I did a toilet bowl full of puke. Because this is what I would see every day, sometimes multiple times a day, and so this vision, I'm not a good artist, but this is something I still have nightmares about, so. That's really good. Scariest thing I can think of. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked it. Comment below which one you like better, or just comment below. Say something. No, tell us which one you like better. Who did the better representation of an eating disorder? I think they're both good. I think they're both pretty good. I don't know. I really like yours. But mine is primarily bulimic, and so that's why I drew cute, mm. so. Not all eating disorders look like this, but my specific one did. So this is really fun. This is fun. I hope you guys like this video, and the next time you see us, it will be our Halloween vlog. So look forward to that, and I may or may not be starting Vlogmas a little bit sooner than you think I am. So 
stay tuned for that too. And I love you guys so much. We love you. Thanks for hanging out. And remember forever and always that you're beautiful. You are worth it. And I am too. Thank you for watching. Bye.